The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Peter approached Jesus and asked him, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive? As many as seven times? Jesus answered, I say to you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. That is why the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who decided to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the accounting, a debtor was brought before him who owed him a huge amount. Since he had no way of paying it back, his master ordered him to be sold, along with his wife, his children, and all his properties, in payment of the debt. At that, the servant fell down, did him homage, and said, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back in full. Moved with compassion, the master of that servant let him go and forgave him the loan. When that servant had left, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a much smaller amount. He seized him and started to choke him, demanding, Pay back what you owe. Falling to his knees, his fellow servant begged him, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he had the fellow servant put in prison until he paid the back, paid back the debt. Now, when these fellow servants saw what had happened, they were deeply disturbed and went to their master and reported the whole affair. His master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you your entire debt because you begged me too. Should you not have had pity on your fellow servant as I had pity on you? Then in anger, his master handed him over to the torturers until he should pay the, back the whole debt. So will Heavenly Father do to you, unless each of you forgives your brother from your heart. Brothers and sisters, the gospel for our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, our theme for this uh, Sunday Gospel is about forgiveness. If your brother sin against you, forgive him from your heart. I think this theme is a timely for all of us. For we have experienced in one way or another when somebody offended us or we have offended somebody. And let us listen what the Lord wants to tell us. I have one story to tell you. And this story happened. There was a veteran on an old Catholic. She used to be a member of the Legion of Mary. And she, so she was devoted a Catholic. She prayed a rosary each day. But one day, the, another member of this Legion of Mary gossiped about her, that she had a licit relationship with her neighbor. But it was not true. But then, the, uh, this uh, devoted Catholic was so deeply hurt in her heart that he could not overcome it. That he could not, it, that he, that he was, she was so un angry and is not, was not willing to forgive the person who offended her. And as a result, this woman who used to go to, to serve in the church, he stopped serving the church and stopped attending the mass for almost 10 years. And, and, as, and also as a result of unforgiving, he got a kind of illness, a serious illness. And so one day she asked for uh, the priest to come to her house and give her a note. And so I came 
And so after the praying over, I asked her, uh, you know, I heard that you have not uh, been in the church for a long time, and why not come back again to the church and serve the Lord? And then she said, no, Father, I think I cannot do it now because, you know, still, you know, my heart is still painful for what had happened for one of the members of our uh, Legion of Mary gossip about me. I cannot overcome it. I'm so bitter, you know, in my heart. And resentment is also in our heart, in my heart. And pagkapuot, uh, tinanim niya sa kanyang puso. And, and so, after that, then I suddenly I just, you know, I just asked her, hey, by the way, uh, where, where is the one uh, that uh, offended you or gossip about you? Where is she now? And then she told me, oh, that one father, you know, she passed away five years ago. Five years ago, she died five years ago, and then until now, you have not for, uh, forgotten what had happened. But until now, you are not willing to forgive her. You know, my dear brothers and sisters, many people say that forgiveness is one of the hard and difficult teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ. Is it true? Let us, you know, let us, uh, in this uh, reflection about forgiveness, once again, let us ask ourselves, is it really hard to forgive? What is hard? Is it hard to forgive another? Or is it, or is it harder that we live in pain, and live in resentment, and live in anger for many years. I would say, my dear brothers and sisters, that forgiveness is not a hard thing to do. What is hard is our head and our heart. And that is the reason why, you know, because of the because of the anger, no, dahil doon sa, sa ating galit, pagkapuot, and resentment yung pagkangit-ngit doon sa tao na nagkamali sa atin, nagkasala sa atin. Then, you know, dahil na rin sa ating pride ay nagkaroon tayo ng hard-headed pride. Over my dead body, I will not forgive that person. It is so unacceptable illogical, unreasonable of what, what he uh, that person did to me. So I will never ever overcome you know, of what had happened. And so because of that pride, you know, na hindi, na, hindi, hindi na overcome natin yung, yung pagkapuot, yung pag-alis ng, ng, ano na yun, ng, ng galit na yun sa ating puso. At dahil doon na rin sa galit sa ating puso ay ang nangyari ay tumigas na ang ating mga puso. So our heart became hardened. I would like to take another, not story, but an analogy to go deeper into our reflection about forgiveness. I would like to take a wound as an analogy. Wound. Sugat. Sugat. Kapag may sugat tayo, ang nangyayari kadalasan. So when we have wounds, oh, most often, we are scratching. We scratch our wounds. Kinakamot natin ito. Palagi natin kinakamot. So we ask ourselves, why we are scratching? Why we would like, why we want na, na hindi siya kamutin palagi? Bakit? Because we feel good. Feel good. But then the thing is, when, you're, when you, you know, keep on scratching the wood, you know, the wood will become fleshy, bloody, you know, and it will not dry up, and it will not heal. 
kin din sa ating no sa uh, you know uh, tungkol sa kasalanan ng iba sa atin sin is committed in the past past is past we cannot do anything about the past you cannot you cannot change what happened in the past the only thing that we can do in the past is to learn from it and avoid you know happening you know avoid that thing to happen in our life again to become a person after that incident but what happened you know sa atin ay we are trying you know, to bring you know to bring the past into our present and we rehearse it we rehearse the emotion the feeling no kung yung bang, yung first time mo na naranasan no? yung nararamdaman ng sakit no? na natanggap mo o yung ginawa sa iyo yung nagkasala sa iyo ay mas lalong masahol yung sakit na yon when you rehearse it because the more the more you have more more reason you know to get angry at that person the more reason that you 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 want to you want to scold that person you want to condemn that person so that is what is happening in our in, in, in you know in, in our life now we can ask ourselves bakit nais ng ating Panginoon bakit kalooban ng Diyos na tayo ay magpatawad why lord why bakit gusto mo siya na nang nagkasala sa akin eh bakit ko pa siya papatawarin dapat lang na, na magsisi siya dapat lang ang problema pa ng isa tayo, ang nangyayari sa atin, sila na nga nagkasala sa atin. Tayo, we are dealing with it, we are so sad about it. Kinikim-kim natin, nandun sa puso natin, yung, yung, yung sakit na yun na nangyayari. Pero tingnan mo, yung nagkasala sa iyo. They're enjoying life right now. They don't even know that you are suffering. So, why? Come back to the, to the question. Bakit ang kalooban ng Panginoon na tayo magpatawa? First, una, upang tayo ay makalaya sa poon at galit sa ating kalooban. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, alam niyo, no? pag tayo ay may galit sa ating mga puso, kung tayo may pagkakuot, yung bitterness, yung resentment, no? parang, yun, parang may tinik palagi doon sa, ano natin, sa puso natin. Yung, hindi tayo makahinga ng maluwag. Literally. Meron, meron ano, parang nasasakotate tayo. Meron, uh, meron something there no? na nakabara. No? And then sometimes, no, we could not even, we could not even sleep dahil doon sa nangyari na yun. No? And wala tayo peace of mind. Wala tayong kapayapaan ng ating kalooban. And so, sinasabi ng ating Panginoon, how can you, you know, I come here to give you life in abundance. I come here to give you peace. I come here to give you joy. But, How can you be joyful? How can you be peaceful if your heart is full of hatred, full of resentment and bitterness? And so, unang-una sa lahat, kapag tayo nagpapatawad ng kasalanan ng ating kapatawad, ay pinalalaya natin ang ating mga sarili. At ganun din, sa, pagpa, sa pagpapatawad natin ng kasalanan ng ating mga ay pinapatawad na rin natin ang ating mga sarili. Then that is the second point 
why our Lord Jesus Christ would like us to forgive the sin of the others. Be merciful as the Father is merciful to you. Una tayong pinatawad ng Panginoon. We are sinners. Huwag po natin kalilimutan na tayo rin ay nagkakasala. Tayo rin ay makasalanan. At dahil na rin tayo ay makasalanan, makasalanan ang Panginoong Yeso Kristo ang unang naglinis na ating kasalanan. Unang tumanggap sa atin. Ang unang nagpatawad sa atin. Kaya naman sa Ebanghelyo sa araw na ito, so the Master, sinabi niya doon sa kanyang servant, you wicked servant, no? I, no? I forgive your debt. I cancel your debt. Is it not but right that you become merciful to others also as I am merciful to you? Sinasabi ng ating Panginoon sa atin, no? Nawa tayo ay magbigay. Katulad ng pagbibigay sa atin ng ating Panginoon. As a matter of fact, we should forgive others because God is merciful is because we are created into the image and likeness of God. Nilikha po tayo ng kawangis at kamukha ng ating Panginoon. At saan tayo nagiging kamukha ng ating Panginoon? Sa pag, uh, pagpapatawad natin sa nagkakasana sa atin. At pangatlong reason kung bakit kailangan tayo magpatawad ay Vengeance is the Lord, not ours. Ang pagiganti po ay hindi sa atin. Ang pagiganti ay nasa Panginoon. Dahil tayo po ay makasalanan. Wala po sa atin ang pagiganti because we don't deserve to revenge. Why? Because if you want to revenge, God will be revengeful to you. Kung ano yung ginawa mo sa iyong kapwa, ganun din ang gagawin ng Diyos sa iyo. And so, kung may meron mang uh, na-offend sa atin, o meron mang nagkasala sa atin, give it to God. Ang Diyos na, ang, 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 uh, you know, mag-settle nito. Bigyan na natin ito sa ating Panginoon. At tayo, and let us move on. Let us get over it. Move on into your life. You deserve to be peaceful. You deserve to be joyful. At sinabi pa ito ng ating Panginoon. If you want to offer something to me, and you realize that you have offended your brothers and sisters, First, leave your offering to me and reconcile with your brother. And after you reconcile with your brother, come back and offer to me your life. Kaya mga magulang kapatid. If forgiveness is hard thing to do, kailangan po natin ng grasya ng ating If for men, it is impossible, but not for God. For everything is possible in God. Kaya naman sa pagtiriwang ng isang ito, no? when we pray to our Father, we ask the Lord to give us strength and grace to practice what we pray. Our Father, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us.